one and then a bit later we're going to do a higher one if you're doing a high you might want to watch the foundation one just to remind yourself of what bit you're going to do so we're going to do some simple bits and pieces first of all for example as we all know x squared is x times x brilliant but if we have x squared times x cubed what we're really saying is x times x and then x times x times x times x together I think you just highlighted how important it is to show the difference between multiplying and x. Because it's a lot of x's and times. It is indeed. So yeah. we've got x times x times x times x times over and over. It's just x to the side. So what's happened to these little powers, these indices, they've been added together. Brilliant. So that's our first index source. When we multiply, we add. So just an example for you. If I did x to the 2 times x to the 6, that would give me x to the 8. eight. Lovely. Our next rule. Next rule. Mm. There we go. Our next one is division. Mm. So we're kind of saying here x times x times x times x times x times x. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 divided by x times x. Now, when you are looking at these division, it's like that you are cancelling off x's. Mm. Now, that's what a math teacher might say. Mm. They're not cancelling, they're dividing by themselves and therefore giving you 1. Just like 4 out of 4 is 1, and 1 out of 1 is 1, 1 divided by 1 is 1, 4 divided by 4 is 1, x divided by x is 1. Is one. X divided by x is one. one. X divided by x is one. Then you've just got x times x times x, which is x times cubed. by one, which is just one on the bottom. Just x cubed, isn't just it? Just x cubed. So when we divide, we we're subtracting the indices. We're subtracting the powers when we divide. Second rule. So our example for that one is going to be x to the seven divided by x to the two. Simply gives me x to the five. Five. Just fits in. Just fits, just fits in. in. Beautiful. Last one. Oh yes. Mm. So this is like saying x times x times x multiplied by itself. So multiplied by x times x times x. How many x's do we have there? We have six. six. Oh, two threes are six. So all you have to do when you see brackets is just multiply your powers. So your example here could be x to the 2 to the power of 10, just x to the 20. You don't have to write out 20 x. You don't have to do that. We are just showing you why, because it's important to know why. It is important to know why. I'm okay. going to give you some to do. Three. Some to do. And then we'll probably freeze, because we know Chloe B is watching, and she likes the pausing. <laughs> she likes it when we pause. We need to step back so we can see it, and, and we'll pause, and, and we're back. back. So, your answers here are going to be, when we're multiplying, we add, and so we're going to get x to the 10, and when we have brackets, we multiply, so we're going to have x to the 15, and when we divide, we take away, where's x to the 6? Beautiful. Fantastic, we hope you got those. Beautiful stuff. Next one. Good. So, moving on. In the new syllabus, they tend to shape questions up. Mm. In the old exam, you would have just had three questions like that, and that would have been nice three. That would have been nice and easy. They kind of shake it up now. So they tend to give you something like this. Mm. Mm. Fill in the blank. Fill know your blank. rules. Know you have to add these two together to get nine. It means it's fairly straightforward to work out what you need to add six to make nine. And it is three. three. So they're just changing it up slightly. It's nothing new, it's nothing crazy, it's just a little bit different. So what about with a divide? Mm. What are you left with there? Uh, 
so we're subtracting, so we are looking at what do we take from 10 to get 7, and the answer is... Oh, it's 3 again! It's your favourite number! Oh, Why is that? Whoa! Three. Whoa! Mr. Kayson, what, what, what did you fall over what? there? Oh! Hmm. So, last one. What have we had here Ooh. to give us, I'm going to shake it up a little bit. Minus 10. Mm. So we're multiplying two things and we're going to get minus 10. One's a positive, the other must, must be. be a negative. And it's going to be negative. Five, because two yeah. fives are 10, two minus fives are minus 10. See, not crazy, just a little bit different. It takes a bit of thought. So, we're going to shake it up now mm. and we're going, Go to, we're going to give you something a little bit different. Some, some bigger numbers at the air. Yeah? Yeah. So, let's go with... Oh. Now you have to remember that the index laws apply to the indices, not to your big numbers. Okay, they have different rules. These are just nice easy normal rules. So three five. So we've just got 15, so we've got the 3 and the 5 and that gives you the 15. And then we've got our powers, which are going to be treated a little bit differently because they're going to add. Okay, so you've got to be able to work in there so that you're seeing the different rules. Okay, so let's go with the divide. I'm going to write my divide like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to divide the 12 and the 4 as normal. So 12 divided 12 by, 4 by 4 is 3. Lovely, and then we've got our powers. So we've got x to the 6 divided by x to the 2. So you're going to so minus those minus 2, and you're going to get x, x to the 4. Lovely, and the last one, and this is the one that people get confused with the most, mm -hmm. is our bracket mm. one. So mm, this means cube the two, two times two times two, which of course is eight. Mm -hmm. And then multiply the powers together, three times three is nine, so x to the nine. Just going to point out the mistakes that people make so that they don't make them here in the here and now. Always good. Some Always people good. Um, simply just ignore the two all together and write two x to the nine. Yeah, very nice. And annoying. some people multiply it by three, okay, and they write six x to the nine. Yeah. These are mistakes that you do not want to make. You want to make sure that you are treating that two as a normal two and it is being cubed. Two times two times two. And then you're two. treating those as indexes and they are multiplying. Yeah. You've got to make sure that you are changing it up. Let's give you some to do. And then we'll pause. Quick shout out to James O. Hope things are going well oh, and you're not blowing yourself nice. up with anything. That was a bit too far. Um, I might throw in some negatives mm -hmm. just so um, people are keeping track. Um, Lovely okay. stuff. Well, should, we, should we give everyone a moment? Yeah, we'll give you a moment. Give you a back. moment. And we're back. Okay, Lovely. so we've got quite a lot of people working at home, so I bet they've had a go at this. Emily, Artemis. Emily and Artie, I'm sure that they're having a go. Excellent. Um, other people... Jake, Jake S. Jake S. Oh yeah, Jake, we've seen that you're yeah. doing your work on Sam. And Henry, Berlin. Henry K. Well done. Very good mm. stuff. So, ask him. So we're going to multiply. Uh, ten feet are... Thirty. Uh -huh. Okay. And then the X. And then we're going to add the powers. So six, two is eight. Beautiful. Next one. Twelve, um, 12, 12 by two is six. Mm -hmm. Then we've got six minus minus two. Two minuses make a plus one. Yeah. Uh, so eight. Lovely. And our last one, you've got to be really careful oh, here. Three, three times three four. times three times three. Three threes are nine. Three nines are twenty-seven. Three twenty-sevens are eighty-one. Eighty-one. Multiply our powers, and we get x to the eight. Beautiful stuff. So that is where foundation level kind of starts. I really hope you hires have definitely watched this as well. Mm, just to um, remind you. On Sam Learning, because we have some people in foundation and higher within different classes, just choose the task to do. You don't need to do them all. If you know your foundation, just do the foundation task. If you know your higher, just do the higher task. We'll be back shortly. Bye. <laughs>